Okay, shooters, we're going to uh, do a quick DIY uh, adding some cheap, easy paracord uh, magpuls to your Lancer mags. Uh, you know, magpul makes a, uh, some, some pulls, obviously, that might work on here, but they're kind of rubberized that stick on. I like these right here. They cost practically nothing if you got some spare paracord, and they're uh, very uh, minimalist. So let's, uh, let's do one here. Uh, so obviously, unload your mag. We're going to go ahead and take your... Um, take your base pad off. You're also going to take off the uh, the internal, the base plate, which is just a, you just kind of pop it off, it comes right off. Supposed to. There we go. All right, and you'll notice there's already a hole in here. So we're going to be adding, and this is, uh, this goes like this. So we're going to be adding another hole. So what we're going to do is you're going to knot the inside of the paracord over this hole and we're going to add another hole here. So I'm going to go ahead and using about a, uh, I think it's about a 9 16th, basically just the thickness of a, of a piece of paracord. Uh, go ahead and give yourself another hole. Again, using this, the square hole that's already there. So just go ahead and pick a spot. Drill through. Make sure it's clean. I've got a, a countersink here just to I'm going to make sure a piece of paracord will go through it. Let's go check this. Might need to go a little bit bigger. We'll go one size bigger. Let me grab another bit. We'll go one size bigger on a bit, just in case. So I'm up to a 3 16th bit right now. All right, got that. Then you're gonna go and put this in here and mark it. You go ahead and seat them together. And I've got a sharpie here that I'm gonna mark the holes on the bottom of the, you know, kind of center it up. Give you a dot there and a dot there. And then we're gonna drill through the mag base plate. Okay, got that. Done with that. Let's clear that. All right, now cut you a piece of paracord. Um, obviously, longer than you need. So I got some red here. Got me a piece uh, way longer than I'm going to need. What you're going to do, oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, we do have to modify your mags just a little bit. At the very back, of the mag after you take the uh, base plate off there's a uh, 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 it's it's a thin portion of of the plastic and I don't think it's gonna affect function at all I, I don't think it's gonna uh, affect any kind of uh, rigidity because of the you know you've got something over it it's gonna be locked in so what you're gonna do is I've got a little just a, a bit on the drum but you're just gonna create a little channel right there for the paracord to slide through you'll see why in a minute You don't have to go deep. That's it. Nothing to it. I'm gonna clean it up a bit. Got some. Make sure there's nothing hanging. All right. Once you get you, like I said, you're gonna knot your paracord, and the trick, the reason why you have to do this is you do have to have the paracord to pass through. So, since you're gonna loop out the bottom, let's go ahead and start with some paracord through here. Let's try that. All right, one, other end goes on the other side. Let's snip it and burn it. it may be easier to pass through when it's not frayed. Much easier. All right, there's a tip. There's a tip right there. Free tip. Snip it. 
put a little heat on it. Easier. All right. So we're through there. Now you want to make sure that you orientate everything right here. Obviously that tab is going to lock in there. So everything is going to pass up through there. And there's one side. There's the other side. You can go ahead and lock them together if you want. Make sure everything locks up good, and it does. All right, so just tie, just just put a loo, a, a a stopper knot basically in one side of it. Give it a good, give it a good tie. I always snip it. I always burn it. And for this, I'm even using a dot of uh, super glue, just a little bit of super glue in the corners. Where the knot is should be plenty so go ahead and pull that down i've already done this one this is a little bit long so i'm gonna i'm gonna make the loop a tiny bit shorter if you can see what i'm doing here it's still a little long let's go with that right there that works all right so i got it marked i'm gonna make a loop double check my size better all right and let's tie it off. Okay, tie it off. Again with the snip, burn, and glue. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like, okay, on the bottom of the mag. So we're gonna go ahead and reattach to the to the bottom of the spring, making sure everything is properly lined up. It is. It just should clip right over top. There it is. It was. And you'll see when I, I'll show you here in just a second. You'll see that the. Uh, um, there we go. That the knots will actually be in between the spring coils when it's compressed down in the mag it'll be in the coil so you shouldn't have any kind of a issue and i've got one this one here has been loaded up and there's no there's no issue at all still got a little room you know i'll, I'll put 29 in there still got a little bit of room to move all right so now what you're going to do is you're going to compress everything down and because of the way this has to slide on that's why you want it a little long you're going to let the paracord kind of ride through that channel right there that you created so and you you might have to use a pick or something for this where you pull and get it lined up but then once you're close to it it should drop right through like that give that a snatch boom there it is so you see everything's lined up right it, it's locked in like it's supposed to be and that I would probably break the base plate before I before the knot came out so there you go I think that looks better. I think they're uh, pretty functional and they're practically free if you've got some paracord laying around. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.